Hi there, it's uh, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos. Uh, remember, after you watch the video, to hit the uh, bell notification button and the subscribe button below, and also the like button. Uh, we'd appreciate it. We're going to head over to uh, Costco and Sam's, kind of a follow-up to the uh, video that we did last week, uh, just to see what kind of crowds um, are there today. I had heard that there was actually a line going around Costco this morning. Working space right there. Yeah, let me take that one, uh, and we'll uh, go inside and see what's on. Uh, See what's going on. Some, uh, some special rules, make sure you keep your social distancing. You're coming in six feet apart. Things have changed a little bit since the last time we came in here. They've uh, actually got you uh, corralled coming in through carts. Uh, the six foot social distancing is what they're encouraging. They're actually handing you carts when you come in. So we'll see what kind of crowds there are in here, but they're limiting people coming into Costco. Yeah, we don't need uh, we don't need bath tissue, we don't need toilet paper, but they do have it. And apparently it was all the way up to the front of the store. Yeah, yeah. All the way up to the front of the store. Like, they started. Where, like the turbo tax is right up there. Wow. Why are people stocking up on toilet paper? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, they got toilet paper, at least for right now anyway. Job security, right? Well, <laughs> today we did find Lysol, so there is some Lysol disinfectant spray, so we found that here. Uh, at least for right now anyway, they have it. Okay, rolling through the uh, rolling through the meat department. It looks like they're pretty well stocked, but they do have a sign up that says all fresh chicken and then one rotisserie chicken but it's limit one per person again so uh, we may get one I don't know if we are yet we're thinking about it water uh, yeah they do seem to have plenty of water here at Costco and I like how they're limiting the number of people in here I really do okay last week was limit two yeah. now it's limit one so now, this is what changed in a week yeah limit one for membership and again we normally get three a week so so we're getting our one uh, they do have Kleenex, which we're short on. We did buy a couple of boxes at the Kroger this morning. We were there, but uh, I'm going to get Kleenex now here too. We in line to get in line, but it's actually working out pretty good because we got out of the uh, checkout in less than five minutes because they're limiting as people come in. It just makes it easier to get through the store. And to be honest with you, we didn't think we were going to buy anything at Costco, but they had a lot of stuff that we actually needed. So uh, we're good with it. Uh, didn't need toilet paper, but they offered it to us. They had some. Uh, and uh, But we didn't need any, so we didn't get any. I'm not going to take it away from somebody who actually needs it, but uh, actually easy in, easy out. I was actually pleasantly surprised by the uh, shopping trip to Costco. Um, no problem getting in. They handed you a cart. Uh, they're actually pretty well stocked of everything from what I could tell. Um, I didn't go looking for hand sanitizers and things like that, but they had water, they had toilet paper, they had Lysol. Uh, so going in, finding what we wanted, uh, and actually we got more than we thought we were going to get because, you know, hey, as long as we're there and it was so easy, we got stuff that we normally get anyway. But uh, checking out, I, we were in the checkout line and out in less than five minutes. Uh, I will say that when you go in there to Costco, uh, plan on having them scan your card rather than you handing them your card. They're not touching anything. Uh, and uh, probably also they have three people at every register. Uh, one to unload your cart, one to scan, and then one to load your cart back up. Uh, they're doing their best to keep their employees safe and, and keep you safe. And they're limiting the amount of people that are actually going into Costco. Uh, so that you don't get overcrowded and break that social distancing rule. So I got to give kudos to Costco for uh, for uh, what they've uh, what they've planned on doing on this, and it's working out well for them, I think. So uh, we're going to head up to Sam's and see if Sam's does the same thing or 
or if not. So we'll find out in a couple minutes and we'll be up to Sam's. We've done our Costco. Uh, we're heading up to Sam's right now to see if Sam's um, was as well organized as Costco was to get people in and out and how much they have for supplies. I will say that, uh, that the parking lot looks a little bit fuller here than it did at Costco. Uh, but that could just be impressions. I don't know what's inside. We'll find out here in a couple minutes. One of the things they did not have at Costco was ground beef. They, they had no ground beef. So I'm going to check and see if they have any ground beef here at, uh, at Sam's Club. Um, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. Um, gas, $1.59 here at uh, Sam's Club, by the way. Just thought I'd pass that along. So let's get ourselves parked. Um, and we will go inside. The, the parking lot doesn't look that full. So we'll find a parking spot, head inside, and let you know what it's like inside. Heading into Sam's Club now, and I will say it's cool. They're cleaning all the carts as they come in, so um, they're separating all the carts out. They're getting all the carts clean before you even walk in, so you don't have to worry about cleaning your car. Uh, they did not check my membership card coming in. It's kind of surprising. Looking at the crowds, well, I think the checkout's a little bit different. Uh, Costco had a much better organized checkout, but we'll see what happens when we check out. If, if we even buy anything, to be honest with you. Yeah, we're at the uh, cleaning aisle at Sam's Club, and uh, they do have some stuff. They're limiting you to one per item on anything in the cleaning aisle. Just like over in the uh, cleaning aisle, it's limit one for everything. They have no ground beef. And it looks like they have no chicken either. So, but that's all up to them. Oh yeah, they've been cleaned out of all their, uh, most of their meats, except for they've got some steaks and so on and so forth, but no ground meat, no chicken, looks like they have no pork either, so uh, they're pretty well wiped out here. out with an empty cart uh, simply because they don't have anything we need uh, they have no toilet paper uh, they have no lasagna they're out of ground beef they're out of almost all meats uh, they do have some steaks and they have some fish uh, but there's no chicken there's no ground beef there's no pork at all uh, the freezer cases are almost totally empty in spots they're limiting one per customer on everything in the freezer case, the refrigerator case, and the meat case, uh, in the cleaning aisles, um, and there's still almost a lot of stuff. So uh, we're gonna walk out of here with an empty cart today, but that's what Sam's Club looks like. And as far as checkout, when we walked in, the lines were long. Uh, they don't have the organization that Costco had. So much as I like to come to Sam's, uh, this is not the place to be today anyway. Thanks for watching our trip today to uh, Costco and to Sam's. Uh, we're gonna head over to Walmart because we've gotta get a couple of things taken care of there uh, and see what that looks like but uh, that'll be part of a different video uh, thanks for watching this video i hope it was informative uh, thanks for watching make sure you click the uh, subscribe button below also the bell notification below and we'd really appreciate it if you hit the, the like button as well so uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next video appreciate it